Hey, it was good. Shout outs to um, Thomas Santos93, who commented on my video of um, Mayweather versus Andre Berto, <laughs> where I suggested that he should fight Andre Berto and Mayfield at the same time, <laughs> or back to back. And he said Mayweather should fight um, Berto and Mayfield. In the same night, like George Foreman fought five men in the same night. I was like, "What?" I ha I hadn't seen it, but after after George Foreman fought and got knocked out by Muhammad Ali, I guess he he was he went out to prove something, and and he he fought five men on an exhibition in the same night, dude. Five men. These men were included Alonso Johnson. Jerry Judge, Terry Daniels, Charlie Polite, and Boone Kirkman. Kirkman. And these guys, yeah, they weren't like all contenders or top 10 fighters, but they were good fighters. Alonso Johnson had fought Muhammad Ali before. Um, Terry Daniels had fought George Foreman. Charlie Polite had fought, Polite had fought Joe, Joe Frazier. Boone Kirk, Kirkman had actually been knocked out by George Foreman before <laughs> but this was a show man this was an exhibition it's some of the weirdest stuff that you will ever see happen in the boxing ring i just you got an hour to spare watch this man you'll laugh your ass off <laughs> starts off with alonso johnson um george foreman puts him out in two then jerry judge who who actually touches um George George Foreman a few times, but then gets knocked out, and then after the fight, I guess um, <laughs> Judge kept talking and so, and he even pushed George. <laughs> he even pushed jo George Foreman, and George Foreman just proceeded to like started throwing bombs once again, <laughs> and then this fool like wraps his hands around. George Foreman tackles him down until like all the the both corners come out and break them apart. <laughs> he tackles him down. They kept fighting after the bell. Um, the same happens when he um at the next fight when he fought Terry Daniels. <laughs> he got knocked out. It was an early stoppage, but I, I guess the same thing happened. And jo George Foreman after the fight after he had already been knocked out. George Foreman starts throwing bombs and actually drops <laughs> drops Daniels and he even punched one of his cornermen and then George Foreman's cornerman started throwing bombs at <laughs> at Daniels corner. Oh man. Charlie Polite, who actually had fought had fought um, George Foreman. No, he fought I think he fought George Foreman and Joe Frazier actually. <laughs> I gotta check that, but yeah, he he went rounds, man. You could see these guys throwing, um, trying the rope a dope because that tried to work, man. But I, I gotta, the rope a dope is one of the stupidest tactics of all time in boxing. But Muhammad Ali, being the greatest, he made it work. But you can't just take bombs from a guy like freaking George Foreman and expect not to get knocked out. But these guys were trying to do that. And George Foreman, but George Foreman could not put him out. Of, actually, um, this guy, um, Charlie Polite, he had fought Joe Foreman, Bob Foster, Cleveland Williams, Joe Bugner, and George Foreman. So he had, he had a good. He also fought Ernie Shavers. I'm looking at box rec right now. Um, before this fight, yeah. So he fought all these fights. He lost against them, but he fought them all to fight. This was a great era. We got to remember one of the best heavyweights eras. So, but Charlie Polite fought all those guys, lost, but he was still a good fighter to fight all these guys. Then he, he um, George Foreman dropped him in the last round, but he couldn't get him out of there. The last fight was against Boone Kirkman, who George Foreman had actually knocked out in the second round. In 1970 but he couldn't get him out of there either I think he dropped him in the second round but these these were all three round exhibitions but the best part of this 
was Muhammad Ali. Yes, Muhammad Ali was on commentary. And he just kept yelling, Joe, George, come on, George, come on, George. And this, uh, George was clowning the whole time. He was bouncing around, trying to be slick, you know, um, trying bolo punches, bolo uppercuts. <laughs> Muhammad Ali was yelling, lay on the ropes, lay on the ropes, lay on the ropes, that's how you beat him, lay on the ropes. And after like, after he fought polite, he, he just stood up with, like with his hands covering his face, like like if he was doing the rope with those. <laughs> this is a spectacle, dude. This is a spectacle. It's just, it's really weird, but it's, it's kind of fun, but kind of sad to see George Foreman like this because he did not look like the George Foreman of old. He looked like one that was, you know, lacking confidence, and that's what he was. He couldn't get, he couldn't get um Kirkman and and Polite out of there. But yeah, so I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. If you have time, go ahead and watch it. It's one of the funniest, strangest things that you will ever watch. <laughs> uh, there used to be a lot of exhibitions, you know, um, in boxing. Jack Johnson, Jack Dempsey, all these guys used to do exhibitions. Even Muhammad Ali used to do exhibitions, man. So it's it was really nothing new in boxing, but George Foreman took a lot of um, um, criticism for this. But I, I, he shouldn't have. He was coming off a loss, and you know he fought five men in one night. So Mayweather, you could fight Berto and Mayfield on the same night, dog. You could fight them on two one night. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Thanks for watching, everybody. Shout out to Thomas Santos 93 once again. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.